And now our tail of the tape for this Bantamweight fight. So a more than five year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, with the same height and a similar reach. To get us started with the official introductions, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, a referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 24 wins, four losses. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of San Diego, California, Dominic the Dominator Cruz. And now introducing his opponent. Fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 19 wins, seven losses, and one draw. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Marlon Chico Barra! You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. They touch gloves and we are underway. Ready. best fighters in this division. Hard to find anything resembling a total weakness on either side of the victory. There are no weaknesses in these guys. These guys are as well-rounded as they come. They both can wrestle, both can grapple, both can strike. They can do it all. And these are the matchups that we dream of as MMA fans. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. Oh. with a right. Well, he continues to stay busy. What do they say, DC? Punches in bunches? Punches in bunches. He's landing upside his opponent's head over and over again. Oh, trying to turn out the lights with that roundhouse kick, but just misses. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Punch over the top. And a miss with the right hook. Slips to avoid the right. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. And he comes through with a big miss. strikes have now landed for Dominic Cruz. Continues to stay busy and he continues to land with volume punches here. I mean, volume, but he's not wasting anything. He's so accurate out there. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Ooh, blocks the shot. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Such a fast leg kick. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Clean with. 
with the right hook. And here he is. Oh, nice job to defend the takedown and scramble to his feet. Five minutes in the books. Stop, stop, stop. While we look back at some of the replays from that previous round, DC, a lot of good action for fight fans over those five minutes. I mean, high pace, high intensity, all action first round, both landed, multiple strikes. What a great round of fighting. All right, here we go with our next round and really shades of the Diaz brothers in that previous round. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy, just a lot of efficiency on the field. Very, very efficient. Good round in the sense that he did not throw everything with absolute power, but he was touching the entire time. Then every now and again, he would set down a strike that was really damaging his opponent. Wild swing there. By Dominic Cruz. Big leg kick lands. Not much behind the takedown offering there. Left hand punch to the swing. Ooh. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. All right, single collar tie now. Right hand punch to the clinch. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this? I mean, the fight is gonna be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Immediately gets the underhook. Right hand punch from the clinch. up now and now the damage is about to start well anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter you're potentially playing with fire strong bottom work here staying busy a lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control oh that'll work the ground and pound strike is good about the speed on that reversal there. I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Oh, right in the mount. Setting up a sub here. Recognize that when a guy starts to put his feet on your hips, you gotta move him off and you gotta cover. You can't be off to an angle. and the commitment to getting the finish. You could tell he was in hot pursuit of that submission much earlier in the round, but he didn't want to rush it, so he sets it up beautifully, lets it materialize almost organically, and ultimately gets the desired result. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He was able to get the fight to the ground exactly where he wanted it. Eventually, his opponent gave him an opportunity to get a submission. He did that, and he should be very proud of the work he did tonight in the octagon. So there he is, your winner by submission. That is a finish they will likely be talking about for some time. Big win, major statement made to the rest of this division. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Gaines called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 55 seconds of round number two. Declared the winner by tap out due to an on bar. Marlon Chico! Well, what a
What an incredible result here tonight as you see the winner there celebrating his victory by way of submission. And they put so much stock into finishing this fight. They felt like to really spin his career forward, they needed to not just win but get the finish, and they certainly got it tonight. They got the finish. He's such a terrific grappler. Every time he is on his back, he looks for submission.